Hey, hi, hello, my name is Alexis, and today we are doing my first VidCon makeup look, and this is it. It's really simple eyes with red lips, very classic, perfect for really any occasion, and yeah, I think this is the first time I've worn a red lip with my purple hair since I've done my hair purple, and I'm really digging it. I think it looks really good. Let me know what you think, even though I'm going to wear it anyways. So if you want to see how I did this, just keep on watching. As always, starting out with my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Want my makeup to last all day while I'm at VidCon. So priming is very important. Next I'm using a new-ish foundation. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover. Um, I have used this before in the past and it is the fullest full coverage ever in existence. The fullest full coverage foundation. So I'm using this for obvious reasons. I want full, full coverage for VidCon. Um, the only thing is I haven't used this particular shade before. This is N1 and 3 Creamy Vanilla. The one I've used before is, um, I can't remember the number, 2W2 I want to say, but that one was um, rattan, rattan, however you're supposed to say it. That one was way too yellow for me. This one might be a little bit too light for me, but we can fix it with bronzer. So I am just going to put a little bit of this, like that much, and even that is probably too much, on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to dot it on with my finger. And I'm going to take my Sigma F80 and first I'm doing this like stipple motion just to spread the product out like all over the skin and then buff to really work it into the skin. So that's on and I think it matches me pretty well. I don't even think I'll need bronzer. Good for me. Next I'm trying out a new concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have this in the shade Vanilla. I just got a little like travel size of it. Um, for something like VidCon, I would normally use my MAC Pro Longwear, but I'm getting kind of bored of the Pro Longwear, so I decided to try something else and that's why I got this one. That doesn't mean I'm going to take this one with me. You'll know for sure what makeup I'm bringing when we do the spoiler alert pack with me. Um, makeup bag. So you'll see then what concealer I decide to bring, but for right now I'm going to try this one. So I'm going to put it under my eyes in a triangle, down the nose, and the cupid's bow. This, this might be a little too light for me. <laughs> and I'm going to blend that all in with my teeny tiny baby beauty blender. Alright, so that's on. It's a little light. I mean, I definitely look highlighted, but it doesn't look terrible. I, I, I kind of like this shade on me. So next, I'm going to set everything. Where's my brush? Guys, I'm always losing stuff. Um, with my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder. It's way too much powder. So under my eyes. And the rest of my face. I just hit my elbow on my desk. That hurt. Zoomed in a little bit more because now I'm doing my eyebrows! This side. I'm using my IT Cosmetics, um, what is this called? Brow Power. <laughs> I totally forgot. Um, I might need to buy another one of these. This one hasn't run out yet, but I don't know if you guys remember a while ago I said that I broke this pencil. Like, it just broke right out of the, right out of the thing like the pencil part broke. So it's just kind of free falling in the, the, in this. Um, so I think I might have to buy another pencil just cause I don't want to end up losing like the nib of the pencil, like in my hotel room or something and then not be able to do my eyebrows. I mean, in a pinch I could do them with like eyeshadow or something, but I don't want to have to do that. I'm just filling them in a little bit with the pencil and then setting all that with my Cella Defining Brow Gel. I actually don't know. I can't really gauge how much of this I have left in here. So I don't know if I'm going to have to buy another one or something. 
I'm, I'm sure it's coming towards empty. Priming my eyes with my beloved Lorac primer. Of course, is anyone surprised? No. So the eyes are really simple, really easy, just beginner friendly, and I'm using the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I, I almost said chocolate bonbons, even though I don't even own that palette. My brain is just somewhere else, you guys. So the first shade I'm going to use, we're, the, we're gonna be using this entire top row right here. There we go. That whole top row is the shades that we're using. Oops. So first I'm taking peanut butter and that's gonna go in and above the crease. This is gonna be our only crease color. So just stick it in there and blend. Now these are really pigmented, so only take a little bit at a time and just build it up to the intensity you want. I'm gonna make, I'm not gonna make this um, too, too intense because this is a really warm shade and I don't want the crease to be that warm. So I'm just plopping it in there a little bit. The next shade I'm taking is Peanut Butter Cup and we're gonna put it all over the lid up into the crease and just blend those colors together and again building and blending until you get the intensity that you want. I'm also going to take that same peanut butter shade, sorry the dog is trying to get comfortable over there, um, the same peanut butter shade we just put on the lid and put it on the lower lash line. Ginger, you're making a lot of noise over there. Next, next, next I'm taking Spread the Love which is coming up like really peachy on camera, like really orange. It's like a peach, a soft peach with lots of sparkle. <laughs> sparkle. What the heck is going on with me? Um, so I'm gonna take that and put it right here under the brow to highlight. Also in the inner corner and that's the eyeshadow. Told you it was simple and easy. Next I'm taking my NYX retractable liner and I'm gonna do my tight line and my waterline. And then to finish off the eyes, curl your lashes and apply mascara. I am, that's not my mascara. Where'd my mascara go? I'm using the Lorac Pro Plus Fiber. The more I use the mas this mascara, the less I like it. So I may not take this one. But that's the eyes done. Let's move back onto the face. I am of course contouring with my Kevin Aquan The Sculpting Powder. Freaking love this so much. But you know that, so I'm just gonna do my cheekbones. I'm gonna keep the blush um, neutral, so I'm gonna use Baby Love. I'm, I'm, by the amount of times that I've used this blush, I think it's safe to say that that's my favorite shade in this Too Faced palette. So I'm going to put it on my cheeks and blend it back towards my temple. Next I'm going to highlight with my NYX Illuminator. So cheekbone up and around the eyebrow. And finally the star of this look, the lips. Um, first I'm going to start off with this NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Cruella. I got this, um, this for a birthday gift last year. So I'm just going to line my lips with this. So there's that and then I'm going to fill them in with my favorite red lipstick, Max Viva Glam 1. And of course, since I want this to last all day while I'm at VidCon, uh, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is the finished look. Really simple eyes and statement red lips. This is perfect for any occasion, a cocktail party, an engagement party, anything. Literally anything you could wear this to, but I'm wearing it to VidCon. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. All the links to all my social media will be down in the description, so check me out there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!